Hello everyone, it's Mark with Launchpad B coming in today with another ClipChamp.com tutorial. Now this is the fourth tutorial to date that I'm doing. Number one was an introduction to ClipChamp. Uh, kind of a high level, it's a longer video, but it really covered how to import and how to edit and how to really work with the site. Second video I did was how to add graphics, whether it was an overlay or a name on it or some kind of an opening title. Uh, the third video that I did was a transition overlay effect, how to do these kind of colorful tiles or these moving animations that are happening between clips. And the video that I'm doing today is an official transition effect video. So how basically going from one clip and then feeding into another clip with some kind of an effect that's not an overlay, it's an effect between the clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into clipchamp.com and we're going to go to the original video that I've been working on with you guys, which is the anchor video. Uh, and what we're going to do with transitions is we're going to go to the left hand side of the screen where it says transition. Now there's a lot of options in here and I want to caution you when it comes to using transitions. You want to just kind of sprinkle them here and there. You don't necessarily have to have a transition between every single video cut. Now a transition is a good way to move from one clip to another clip and do it easily so that it's not distracting to the audience. If you're really good at video editing later on, uh, you can do a hard cut at key points and it's very unnoticeable. It's just kind of fluid. Uh, but if you're just getting started out, it does help you to kind of use a transition effect when you're going from one scene into another scene. Uh, now, the way that it works is you basically uh, will go on ClipChamp, you're going to go to Transitions, like I said, and then you're going to select a transition. Now, there's some common ones that are used more often. That's going to be what's called a crossfade. You've got what's called a fade the black and what's called a fade the white. So to kind of show you what a crossfade looks like, uh, it's very similar to a cross blur or a cross dissolve. You're just going to basically grab it. You're going to drag it into your timeline and then you're going to notice that there's these turquoise flashing lines between all of my clips and it's telling me that I can insert it there. Uh, now when I go to insert it, you may notice that I have like this crossed out line here basically to what it's crossed out telling me it's not aligned. You want to align it to where it looks like this. You've got this white arrow and a white plus sign. You're going to release it and now you've successfully added a transition between these two clips. Now I do have a little bit of a problem. You notice where it says my subtitle here is overlapping the, cross, the, the transition effect. I'm going to move it out of the way. Uh, and then if you push the play button here, you're going to see how it's going to go from one clip and then it's going to fade into the next clip. Now, if you actually click on the effect on the timeline, you're going to have the option to change the duration. It's one second, half a second. It really depends on how fast you want it to be. Uh, I tend to go a little bit slower between a half a second up to a second, especially when it's a product shot. Uh, if it happens to be a talking head like we're doing now, I tend to make a crossfade only be about a, a, a fraction of a second, maybe a half a second or less. Uh, now, I also want to point out that you've got the option to delete your effect here. If you don't want to use it, you want to get rid of it, you select delete. And there's also what's called, there's a drop down here where you can actually select everything here. Uh, and this is useful so that you don't have to delete and then drop another one in and, and keep playing with it. You can just basically go in here and basically select the one you want. Uh, and then we'll tap out and see what a spin looks like. I don't even know. There's a spin. Actually, spin's kind of cool. I've seen that a lot, especially in a lot of social media posts. Uh, let's take a look at another effect. Let's try something like uh, glitch. What does glitch look like? Here we go. Uh, glitch is kind of a morph. So let, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to my crossfade. Back at the top and we're keeping it simple today. Now, if we want to try something in another one, let me go ahead and we're going to select another one. Let's try the, the fade through white. Again, I'm going to drop it in place. Let's play it and it goes from one clip, it goes white, and then it goes into the next clip. Kind of cool. Now, the one that I, I really wanted to talk about was the fade the black here, uh, which I use for dramatic effect. Now, if we've added music to um, our video, it, it's, it's really helpful if you've got, you know, one type of music, like it's slow, then the screen goes black for a second, and then the music beat picks up and then the, the, it comes out of the fade the black. Uh, I've seen it used that way. It's very clever. Uh, I'm not talking about editing to, to music on this particular um, tutorial, but it is useful to edit to music, especially if you're making your cuts of your video happen when the music is hitting as well. It's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and add a couple of options here. I think I'm going to change this one to back to a fade to white. If I click on here. And uh, let's just, just for fun, let's add a little bit of music. So I'm going to go back to my media here. I'm going to select this track that I've already got. I'm going to drop it in there. Now, I basically want you to see the transition effects with some music playing. So let's go ahead and hit play. That was our crossfade. Crossfade. Fade the black. And a fade the white. 
So as you can see, transition effects do help to dress up your videos, uh, adds a little bit of drama to them, makes them a little bit more exciting. Again, I would say proceed with caution, just like you wouldn't type a paper with every different you know, type of font that there is out there. You don't want to throw too much in the mix there or it becomes distracting. I hope this has been helpful. I encourage you to try it out and I appreciate you watching.